Hello guys, I'm Ludwig and this is SQL Bootcamp Online, the two-minute SQL series when I'm addressing all of the questions that you're already sick and tired of because they are being repeated over the place over and over and over again. So in the previous episode of this little series, we talked about whether you can install SQL Server on Linux and you already know the answer to this one. But how about your Mac, all right? So can you install SQL Server on a Mac OS regardless of the version? Well, uh, what you should have to do in order to answer that question is just to go to Microsoft website, then go to the downloads and then look for your operating system, right? The very same way you went down and found your Windows, you found your Linux, and then there is this Docker thing. Now, in order to answer properly the question whether we can uh, install um, SQL Server on a Mac, we need to address this question first. So if you go to Docker, you Google for what the Docker is, you will find the information that you can install Docker desktop on a Mac. But what is Docker? Is it really worth installing? What kind of a software is that? Well, in order to answer this question, we need to talk about virtualization a bit. So if you think about any device, any device whatsoever that you have, I don't know, even if your phone that you have in, a, uh, in your back pocket, all of those devices, they have some CPU, so some processor, some RAM, to process all of that data. And then you have some hard disks, right? Some storage, and then you will have some kind of net networking, right? These are four basic subsystems of every single device that you are uh, interacting with, basically. Now, uh, the operating system itself that you install on those devices, it'll take all of the access uh, and you it will use up all of those subsystems, right? Now, virtualization means that you can create a virtual machine that will use just part of the RAM, part of the CPU, part of your hard drive, and part of your networking that will be limited. And this way, it will be like the guest within your host, all right? So we'll virtualize uh, those um, physical devices instead of seeing that you have just one very powerful processor with multiple different cores and so on and so forth, you will have just a small processor with a limited number of cores, for example. Instead of having 64 gigs of RAM, this virtual machine will see that, oh, I only have 4 gigs of RAM available, all right? And this way you can, this is exactly what we call virtualization. Now, virtualization happens on the operating system level and you will have to have the um, operating system within that virtual machine as well. So if your operating system, for example, is Mac, you can install Parallels, for, for example, and then you can install Windows on a Mac or the other way around, uh, or maybe not exactly the other way around, but you can have your Windows machine, then you can have your Hyper-V, which is your hypervisor, uh, virtualization technology, and then you can have Windows on Windows and you can have multiple machines as much as your physical machine will allow you to store and hold at the same and have launched at the same time. Now, Docker is a bit different story. So instead of having a full featured operating system installed within your uh, operating system, you will be basically, and this is the oversimplification just to give you the idea, you'll be uh, creating a container where this container is a virtualization level for the application itself, all right? So instead of having a Mac and then installing a um, Windows operating system on a Mac and then within that uh, Windows operating system installing SQL Server, what you can do is you can say, hey, I want to create this intermediate level of a container which will be presented in the form of a SQL Server. And this way, my SQL Server will start working on a Mac regardless of the of lack of uh, underlying Windows operating system underneath. All right. So again, this is the oversimplification. And I already know that I'm past the two minute mark right now. But I just wanted to give you a very a high level example, or even if it's oversimplified, a high level example of what the Docker is and how you can use Docker in order to install SQL Server on a Mac. So again, as I said before, this is SQL Bootcamp Online. I'm Ludwig and don't forget to subscribe in order to get the most out of this series.